Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Alba, Delmi, Josué, Julia, Eliseo, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Eliseo. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am fine. Thanks. Are you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Hello, oh, Julia. Great. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. That's great. And Jose David, how are you? Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. Ah, oh, that's great, Josue. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Isa. Good evening. How are you tonight? Okay, let's start with the night class. Uh, do you have any question, any problem, any doubt with the platform exercises? Any question, any problem with them? No, no question. Alguna pregunta en la sección número cuatro y número cinco? Todo está bien. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alexandra. Good evening. Okay, if you don't have any question, any doubt, or any comment in this section, let's start with tonight's class. In yesterday's class, we were studying the weather, the season, and the weather. Do you remember the season of the year? We have four seasons of the year. Do you remember which are they? Which are the four seasons of the year? ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Cuáles son las cuatro estaciones del año? Uh, spring. Thank you. Spring is one. Spring. Summer. Thank you so much. We have summer, spring, and summer. There are still two missing. The winter. Yes, winter is the other one. One is missing. Fall. 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 Ah, okay, fall. that's great. We have spring, summer, winter, and fall. So do you remember the weather? We have different weather around the world. ¿Han escuchado las noticias? What's the weather like in London? What's the weather like in London, England? It's cool. It's cool. Generally it is, right? But not now. En las noticias hemos visto últimamente que está muy caliente, están sufriendo una ola de calor, so now it's hot. It's hot. In any other weather, so that's temperature, hot, cool, warm, and cold, and freezing. And we have freezing. Now the weather, how do you say lluvioso? How do you say lluvioso in English? Raining. Yes, thank you so much. Rainy, how do you say soleado? Soleado in English. Sun. Sun. Sunny. Sunny. Excellent. Sunny. Sunny. How Sunny do you day. say nublado? Sunny day. Foggy. Mm, kind of. Foggy is con neblina, that en neblinado. That is foggy. Mm -hmm. Y nublado. Cloudy. Clear. Yeah, okay, cloudy. Cloudy is the word. Thank you. Cloudy. So we have rainy, sunny, foggy, cloudy. Is this está nevando? How do you say nevando in English? Oh, 
Oh, you forget about this. It starts with S. Snowy. Okay, snowy, yes. Thank you so much, snowy. So now the question, what's the weather like in the place you live? ¿Cómo está el clima en lugar donde usted vive? And what's the weather like today there? Then you start the answer with it. And you say the weather. It's hot. Thank you, Christopher. Christopher say it's hot. Very good answer. It's, hot. it's cool. Thank you, Delmi Alexandra. You say it's cool. It's cool too. Thank you, Liceo. It's cool too there. Any other answer? Dos más. And we are going to start with the class. So, two more answers. What's the weather like in the place where you live? That's the question. ¿Cómo está el clima hoy en el lugar donde It's vive? raining. Thank you so much, Julia. It's raining. It's cool. Thank you, Brenda. It's cool. That's great. So, we studied this yesterday. Thank you so much. Let's go with tonight's topic and in tonight's topic we're going to study the present continuous or present progressive. It has two names. So you can say present continuous or present progressive. When we're going to use the present continuous or the present progressive. Este es un tiempo ¿verdad? que nos sirve para describir las acciones que están sucediendo en este momento. Lo que está pasando ahorita, decimos nosotros. Lo que está sucediendo en este momento. So, let's see, for example, what are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento usted? Then, ok, then you say... I'm having classes. I I'm class. Okay. I am sitting. Yo estoy sentado. I am paying attention. Estoy poniendo atención. Si está tomando notas, dice, I am writing. I am listening to. Estoy escuchando. Estoy escribiendo. So, en lo que está sucediendo en este momento. Probablemente los que viven con usted están haciendo diferentes actividades como watching the news, viendo las noticias, watching a movie, listening to music, eh, watching the dishes, algunos todavía cocinando, cooking, otros descansando, ¿verdad? resting, y algunos otros ya están dormidos, sleeping. So, es lo que está sucediendo en este momento. Eso es el presente continuo o el presente progresivo. So, this is the objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will be able to form a statement or sentences using the present continuous tense. That's the goal for tonight. We are going to learn how to make sentences. Cómo hacer oraciones en este tiempo, presente continuo. So, let's start with this. So, okay, look at this boy. Any volunteer to read this sentence? Thank you, Julia. Read both sentences, please. The first one. Okay. I am playing soccer. You are cooking soup. Thank you so much. And I have another volunteer, uh, Arely. Thank you, Arely. Can you please read both sentences? I'm playing soccer, you are cooking soap. Okay, look at the first picture. So it says, el chico dice, I'm playing soccer. Estoy jugando fútbol en este momento. I'm playing soccer. Estoy jugando fútbol. So I need a subject. I need the verb be. I need the verb playing. Necesito el verbo con ing, ¿verdad? Playing. I'm playing soccer. And then the other girl, we say, you're cooking soap. Tú estás cocinando sopa. 
en este momento. You are cooking so. Tú estás cocinando. Para hacer esa terminación de ando, endo, como comiendo, jugando, cocinando, necesitamos la terminación ing en los verbos. El verbo acá es play. Para usarlo en este tiempo, yo tengo que agregarle ing. Look at this. Play is the verb, que significa jugar. Si yo le agrego ing, I'm sorry, ya cambié el verbo. Es playing. Playing, play, playing. Jugar, jugando. I am Michelle, playing. Pero verdad so que hay unos verbos que no aplican con esa regla. Y... Este es el gerundio que le está poniendo el ING. Así es, y en este caso es el gerundio. Sí, todos los verbos tienen una forma ING. Porque si está en, en pasado, cambia el verbo. Mm. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, teacher. Buenas noches. Good night. Hello, Hola. Olga. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Nice to <laughs> see you tonight. Thank you for being here with us. Ven, el, este tiempo ¿verdad? no aplica en algunas situaciones. Sí. Bye, pero eso lo vemos la próxima clase, ¿les parece? Cuando no podemos okay. utilizar estos verbos. Hay algunos que ah, se, okay. llaman, okay. Es, se llaman stay sí. verbs. Se llaman como verbos de estado. Que no, no se pueden utilizar en este tiempo. O no es muy común que se utilice. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Sí. Yes. Thanks. So, stay verbs. That is the name. So, if you want, you can investigate a little bit before the class. So you're cooking soap. In this case, the verb is cook. Then you have to add ing. Cook, cocinar. Cooking, cocinando. So you say cooking. So lo agregamos ing, right? Mm -hmm. So don't forget subject, verb to be, verb with ing and the complement. So don't worry, we're going to see the structure later. Let's continue with this example. So if I want to say, lo que yo estoy haciendo, digo, I'm, más el verbo. I'm playing soccer in this case. Si quiero decir lo que usted está haciendo, you're cooking soap. Let's go with the other examples. Then we have, any volunteer to read these two sentences? She is eating. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia comer? Eat, eating, eating. 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 She is eating. Ella está comiendo. Oh, really? She's eating? Dancing. No, she's, she's dancing. dancing. She's okay. dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing. And, and well, he's swimming. She is swimming. Okay, thank you so much. He's swimming is the first sentence. He's swimming. En este momento, ¿qué está haciendo él? He's swimming. Él what está is, nadando. Él está nadando. Y la chica, what is she doing now? Ella está bailando. She's dancing. Yes, ella está bailando. En terceras personas, la forma del verbo to be es is, contractado es his and she's, más el verbo en ing, swimming, dancing. Let's see the next one. Look at this picture. What is this dog doing? It's sleeping. Okay, it's sleeping. It's sleeping. And what are they doing? We're eating pizza. Okay, we're eating pizza. I'm sorry, it's we. What are we doing is the question. Estamos haciendo nosotros. We're mm -hmm. eating pizza. So the first one is sleeping. We're eating pizza. We're. We're, we're, we're eating pizza. pizza. Let's go with the next one. You're 
they doing? What are they, are they doing? listening to music? They, they are just, repairing a house. They're okay. painting a house. They are listening to music and you're painting a house. You're painting. Teacher, how do you Listen. How do you pronounce that word? Listening. They're listening to music. Listening. They're listening to music. To music. You're painting a house. They're listening to music and you're painting a house. En este caso, you're está en plural. ¿verdad? Ustedes. Ustedes están pintando una casa. You're painting a house. So let's stay a little of this. So in the present continuous, we are going to use the verb to be. And aquí vemos el verbo to be en sus diferentes formas con los pronombres personales. I, your, she is, we're, their, and it's. Nos hace falta his, ¿verdad? In these examples, we have his too, or he is. And look at this example, she is wearing shoes. Yeah, I'm wearing shoes. You're wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. We are wearing shoes. They are wearing shoes. In the last example, it's snowing. And also we have some examples of negative sentences. So, el, la negación la vamos a poner justo después del verbo to be. So, I'm not. You're not, she's not, we're not, they are not, and it's not. O contractado sería you aren't, she isn't, que es la otra manera de contractarlo. You aren't, she isn't, we aren't, they aren't, and it isn't raining. It isn't raining. No está lloviendo. Entonces utilizamos este tipo de oraciones para decir lo que está sucediendo o no está sucediendo en este momento. Por ejemplo, en este momento ustedes, nosotros no estamos cocinando. Then we say we're not cooking. We're not cooking. O si alguien ha dejado los frijoles en la cocina. We're not cooking. Sí, teacher, se me quemaron por estar en clase. So we are not cooking in this moment. <laughs> so we're in this moment we say we're studying English. Nosotros estamos estudiando inglés. We are not cooking. Do you have any questions until this moment? Questions? No. Okay. No question, teacher. Okay, that's excellent then. Let's go with the next. We are going to see a conversation. Let, let me erase. Okay, look at this. This is the structure, the grammatical structure that we are going to use to make these type of sentences. Let's see, we need a subject, the verb be, eh, plus the verb in ing, plus the complement. ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be en el presente? ¿Quién se acuerda? Um, okay. is, are, Am um, is an Am is an are. En los ejemplos que vimos al principio de la clase, los pudimos ver conjugados con los pronombres personales. Y acá están esos ejemplos. Look at this. I'm playing soccer. You're cooking. He's swimming. She's dancing. It's sleeping. We are eating pizza. You are painting house. They are listening to music. Any volunteer to read these examples? 
who wants who wants to try thank you Areli Oliva thank you um playing soccer lo dije bien teacher yes you are cooking he is swimming or swimming 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 he is swimming, swimming. She's dancing. It's sleep, sleeping. We're eating pizza. You're. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí, teacher? Painting. Painting a house. They are. Ahí, teacher. They are listening. They are listening to music. Excellent. Thank you, Relly. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Thank you. Very good try. Now in this is his swimming. Is it sleeping? Okay. Es lo mismo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? El sonido de la S. No se dice eh, sleeping. Mm -mm. O sea, sleeping. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Okay, Delmi Alexandra, do you have a question or do you want to try? Do you want to help me to read? Delmi Alexandra. Participar, participar, ah, okay. teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead, you can do it. Go. I am playing soccer. You're cooking. He's swimming. I am a question. Swimming. Swinging, he's swinging, she's dancing, it's sleeping, we're eight pizza, you're painting a house, they are listening to music. Thank you, that was great. Excellent job. Thank you so much. So swimming, that's the pronunciation. Su swimming. Swimming. He's swimming. Swimming, swimming. Yes, swimming. swimming. He's swimming. Swimming. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank now, you. Let's... Okay, now let's see. She's dancing. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What's the subject in this sentence? She's dancing. What Jeez. is the subject? She is or she? She. she. Thank she. you, yes. She is the subject. La forma del verbo to be es is, but solo que está contactada. Then I have the verb in ing. She is dancing. Si quiero agregarle un complemento, le puedo poner she is dancing cumbia. She is dancing salsa. She is dancing hip hop. Let's see the other one. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. What is the subject in this sentence? It. It is the subject, the verb plus ing. Sleeping. 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 Y la forma del verbo to be que es is también. ¿no? So, esta es la estructura que vamos a seguir para hacer oraciones en presente progresivo o presente continuo. Ok. Any question? Olga, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Quería participar, teacher. Okay, try. Let's go, do it. Um, um, am I playing soccer? Playing. 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 Am I playing soccer? You're cooking. He's swimming. She's dancing, is sleeping, we're eating, 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 we, we're eating pizza, you're painting, hacia, pie, Pain. Pain. painting, painting, Pay. painting, painting, a house. They yes. listen to music. Yes, listening to music. They are listening to music. Thank you, Olga. Very good job. Can you help me, please, Olga, with the pronunciation of these words? 
Just give me a second. What is it? What is it? Here. With this one, please. Can you help me with this? It's I'm. I'm playing I'm. soccer. I'm playing soccer. In this one, and let's see the other one. You're cooking. You're cooking, yes. And these, how do you pronounce this? You're painting a house. You're painting a house. You're painting a house. So I'm I'm playing soccer. Now let's say a look how to make negative statements. So for negative statements or negative sentences, we're going to need a subject. The verb be so an is or art plus not plus the verb in ing form and a complement. Esta es la estructura que vamos a seguir para hacer una oración negativa. El sujeto, el verbo to be en sus tres formas, verdad? Depende del sujeto. Va a ser am is or are not el verbo en ing más un complemento. That is what we need to make negative statements. Just give me a second. It is still say affirmative sentences here. Let me fix this. It must say negative sentences in this part. So we are going to fix right now. Negative. Negative sentences or negative statements. So I'm not playing soccer. I'm not playing soccer. You're not cooking. He's not swimming. She's not dancing. It's not sleeping. We are not eating pizza. And the next is, you're not painting a house. They are not listening to music. So, vamos a agregar nada más el not para hacer una oración negativa para decir que algo no está sucediendo en este momento. So, en este momento yo no estoy jugando fútbol. I'm not playing soccer. Yo, tú no estás cocinando. You are not cooking. Él no está nadando. He's not swimming. Ella no está bailando. She's not dancing. It's not sleeping. Esto no está durmiendo, esto o este. We're not eating pizza. No estamos comiendo pizza. You're not painting a house. No está pintando una casa and they're not listening to music. Ellos no están escuchando música. Any volunteer to practice in the sentences? Who wants to try? I need a volunteer. Thank you, Alison. <laughs> I'm not playing soccer. You're not cooking. He's not swimming. She's not dancing. It's not sleeping. We're not eating pizza. You're not paying a house. They are not listening to music. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Excellent job. Thank you, Alison. Alba, can you please? Okay, I'm not playing soccer. You're not cooking. He's not swimming. She's not dancing. It's not sleeping. We're not eating pizza. You're not painting a house. They are not listening to music. Thank you so much, Alba. Very good job. Thank you for your help in this part. Let's go with the next thing. It's an exercise. So look at this example. It says, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels. Do you remember this bird wearing? We studied these birds a couple of classes uh, before this one. Lo vimos hace un par de clases, ¿verdad? So I'm wearing. También eso está sucediendo en este momento. Lo que yo estoy llevando, puesto. Puesto. So, ok, so let's practice Watch. this. Let's practice. I'm wearing. And also we study the colors and also the clothes. So, can, who wants to try? 
you can say, hi, my name is Adeli. I'm wearing, and you describe your clubs. Ah, okay, thank you, Alison. Hi, my name is Alison. I'm wearing um, red t-shirt, t-shirt today, and I'm wearing tennis. I'm wearing tennis too. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Very good. Any other volunteer who wants to try? Thank you, Dina Esther. Go, Dina, do it. Hi, my name is Dina. I'm wearing a. Uh, would you repeat that? Hola, me escucha. Un poquito entrecortado, Hola. pero. Un poquito entrecortado, pero sí la escuchamos. Okay. My name is Dina. I'm wearing a black blouse today. I'm wearing Okay, thank you. La última parte ya no la escuchamos. I'm wearing you can say sandals, tennis, high heel shoes, flip flops, jeans, uh, sandals. Okay, sandals. I wear sandals too. Thank you so much. Okay, Dina. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer who wants to try? I'm waiting for Thank you so much. Let's listen. Delmi Alexandra. My name is Delmi Alexandra. I am wearing. Shirt, lion green, light green. I am wearing sandal. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, just light green t-shirt or light green blouse. Okay, el color va primero. Delme Alexandra, do you remember that? Sí, sí, se me olvidó. <laughs> no Thank problem. You. But that was great. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. So you say, I'm wearing light green t shirt and you say sandals and sandals too. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? I have Arely Oliva. Thank you. My name is Arely. I'm wearing a black dress today. I'm wearing black sandal. Okay, thank you so much. A very good job. Thank you. And Olga. My name is Olga. I am wearing a brown suit today. I am wearing high sandal too. Okay, thank you so much. Very good job. So I'm wearing, it's present continuous. Now let's practice in this. Let's practice what she doing. Look at the girl in the first picture. What she doing or what is she doing? She is uh, listen. Music okay. o está leyendo también, teacher. Okay. En este caso ya está haciendo tres actividades. ¿Y bueno, cómo sería? Podrían ser cuatro. Number one. So you say. La primera que dijeron es: She is. She's listening. She is listening a music. To music. Ah, to music. She is listening to music. Está y que es tu los, teacher. Está estudiando a los temerarios. Escuchando a los temerarios. 
Also, she is she is reading a book. She is reading a book. She is sitting. She is sitting outside. Está fuera de la casa, ¿verdad? She is sitting outside. Y la última. Tomando aire o respirando aire. <laughs> She's breathing. Ahí está respirando. Clean She's air. breathing. She's breathing clean air. Clean air. She's breathing. And also we can say she's studying. She's studying. I have a question. Yes, what's your question? El uh, número tres donde dice she's sitting outside. Sitting quiere decir que está sentada. Uh -huh. Ella está sentada en este momento. She is sitting outside. Ajá, pero afuera. Me confunde porque cuando se lleva el ING es cuando está haciendo verdad la acción. ¿Por qué iría aquí el el ING? Okay, it's for the grammatical structure. I understand that in Spanish eso sonaría un poco raro si lo traducimos. Sería como ella se está sentando afuera. Entonces, para darle sentido, use ella está sentada. She's sitting. She's sitting. No tendríamos que ser una traducción literal de esta oración. Es como interpretativa. Mm, sí, más o menos así. Tenemos que darle el sentido. Ok. Porque gratica, gramaticalmente sí está correcta. She's sitting outside in English. Ahora, si la pensamos en español, sería un poquito extraño ¿no? la traducción literal. I understand what is your question. So, eh, any volunteer to read these sentences? Who wants to practice? Who wants to practice reading these sentences? I try. Okay, I have Olga. Sí. Do it, Olga, please. Um, she is listening to music. She is reading a book. She is city, sitting outside. 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 She is studying literature. Or como se dice? Literature. Literature. She's studying literature. She's studying literature. Li, li, no puedo pronunciar. <laughs> literature. Literature. Okay. Oh, literature. She's studying literature. Está estudiando literatura. Sí, Thank sí. you, Olga. Thank you so much. Areli, do you want to try? She's listening to music. She's reading a book. She's sitting outside. She's studying as a student teacher. Yes, she's studying. She's studying. Le Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That was great. Uh, Dina, do you have a question or do you want to try? I want to try. Okay, help me please. Permítame un momento porque están nadando mis perros. Ok. No le dio cena. Por eso están enojados. <ríe> ok. Ok. She's listening to music. She is reading a book. She is sitting outside. She is starting. Mm. 
Okay, she's studying literature. Let's make sentences for the other girl there. What is she doing? Veamos a la otra, la señora que está ahí. What is she doing? Can you tell me, please? Literature. Thank Jumping. you. Thank you, Dina. Thank you so much. That was excellent. La señora. So you say she is. She's jumping. She's. Okay, it could be she's jumping. Or dancing. It could be she's dancing. She is training. She is training. Yes, yeah, she's training. ¿Qué significa train? Train. Es como ella está entrenando. Ejercitándose sería lo mismo. She's doing exercise. She's doing exercise. Or she's doing aerobics. She's doing aerobics. Aerobics. Okay, so she's jumping, she's dancing, she's training, she's doing exercise, she's doing aerobics. Oh, y eso está sucediendo en este momento, in this moment. Mm, let's go with the next. We're going to practice in the next. So let me make this. And let's go with the next. Now, what's he doing? Look at this. What's he doing? Está guardando unas cajas. Okay. He's working. He's working. Okay, so let's write he's working. He is working. Thank you. He's working. And the other guy, what is he doing? What is he doing? So he is riding, montando. He's riding a bike. He's riding a bike. Él está montando una bicicleta. He's working, he's riding a bike. Any volunteer to read these two sentences? Who wants to try? Who wants to help me in this part? Just one volunteer to read this couple of sentences. He's working, he's riding a bike. Anyone? He's working, he's riding a bike. Thank you, Julia. He's working, he's riding a bike. Thank you so much. I have another one. Thank you, Delma Alexandra. He is working, he is reading a bike. Okay. Arely. He is working, he is on riding. The he is riding a bike. Riding, riding a, bike. a bike. Okay, that is happening in oh. this moment. Esto está sucediendo en este momento. Let's go with the next exercise. And the next is this. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? It's running. Okay. It's running. It's, it's running. running. It's running. And the it's, other one? It's jumping. It's jumping it's jumping excellent it's running it's jumping let's go to the last pictures okay. question teacher que significa jump, jumping saltando saltar jump saltar jumping saltando so it's uh, jumping or you can you can also say the horse you can also say the dog, the dog is 
running. Or the horse is jumping. The horse is jumping. The horse is jumping. Teacher, se podría de las dos maneras. Sí, de las dos maneras. Pero ¿cuál sería la más correcta? ¿O, o la todo estaría bien? Va, es depende. Si es como esta, una oración que no tiene contexto, es el the dog. The dog is running o the horse is jumping. Pero si ya estamos describiendo el caballo, ya mencionamos anteriormente el caballo, entonces podemos sustituir el nombre de caballo por it. Mm, ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, Arely, do you have a question? No, teacher. Ah, ok, veía su manita levantada, por eso le pregunté. Ok. No question in this part. Let's finish with this. What are they doing? Can you tell me the sentence? What are they doing in the first picture? They are playing volleyball. Okay, they are playing. They are playing volleyball. And the other one? They are playing a guitar. He's playing guitar. Uh, he's playing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, they are playing. They are playing the guitars or their guitars. Es uno, dos. Hay dos. They are playing their Hay guitars. Hay dos personas, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, there sí. are two people there. It is a boy and a girl. So they are playing their guitars. And also if we can say okay. they are. How do you say cantando in English? Singing. singing. Okay, they are singing. Thank you so much. Singing. They're playing their guitars. They are singing. Any question in this part? It's everything clear, guys? Está todo claro? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to the next exercise then. Okay, look at these sentences. Can you please order the words to make correct sentences? Help me. Help me to make correct sentences. Number one. He is watching a movie. He is watching a movie. Is it correct? He is watching a movie. Is it correct? Yes. Okay, yes it is. Yes, He's correct. Watching a movie. Thank you. And the second one. They are singing a song. They are singing a song. They are uh -huh. they singing. are singing okay. a song. Yes. They they are they are singing a song. They are singing a song. The next number three. We are. We are listening to both music. To music. We are listening. We are listening to pop music. Pop, pop. To pop, pop, uh -huh, music. pop music. Okay. The next. To pop. Mia is, is dancing, dancing cumbia. cumbia. Okay. Mia is dancing. And the last one. 
the cat. The cat mm. is playing with a uh, ball. Yes. yes, you are right. The cat is playing with a ball. So we have his watching a movie. They are singing a song. We are listening to pop music. Mia is dancing cumbia and the cat is playing with a ball. It was easy for you. I could see. Any volunteer to read the sentences? Just one volunteer to read these five sentences. Thank you, Delmi Alexandra. He is watching a movie. They are seeing. Esas eran verdad, teacher. Yes, yes. <laughs> they are seeing. Sing, singing and song. We are listening. 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 We are listening to pop music. Listening. Mia is dancing cumbia. The cat is playing with a ball. Thank you so much. Very good try. And Areli, can you please? is watching a movie they are singing a song we are listening to pop music mia is dancing cumbia the cat is playing with a ball okay thank you so much let's go with the next exercise in the next exercise we are going to Da, 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 make negative statements. We are going to make negative statements here. Look at this word and have shit not to take photos. Como digo entonces, ella no está tomando fotos en inglés. She's not to take photos. She's not to take for okay. ¿Qué tenemos que hacerle al verbo? She is not taking. Ah, la post. Oh, uh, cambiar el tiene. She not taking. She's not taking photos. Not taking photos. Um, Add ing. 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 Tenemos que agregarle ing. Muy bien. So, en este caso nos quedaría she. ¿Cuál forma del verbo tú Ya tengo el sujeto, she, ahora necesito la forma del verbo to be. Is, Correcta. Is, que is, 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 no. Luego agregamos not. Luego este verbo to take, que está ahí en infinitivo, tengo que pasarlo a ing. Taking. Taking sería taking. She is not taking. Y es la palabra foros. Así nos quedaría la primera oración. She's not taking photos. The second one. Amelia is not too crazy. Crying. Ok. Amelia. Amelia. Is not. Todo eso, tú, cry, que está en infinitivo, tengo que pasarlo a ING, sería. Crying. 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 Amelia is not crying. Amelia no está llorando. The next one. The next. We are, We are not. not okay, We are excellent. not working today. We are We are not, not to working today. Working today. We are not working today. We are not working today. The next. Simon. Simon. Is not is drinking not coffee. No. No. Is not drinking no. coffee now. Is it correct? Simon is not drinking coffee now. And the last one. 
which is not or simply she's using not the using comfort. The computer. She is not using the computer. She is not using the computer. Yes. So the first one is she is not taking photos. Amelia is not crying. We are not working today. Simon is not drinking coffee now. And the last one, she's not using the computer. ¿Por qué cry no se le quitó la Y? Eh, le quitamos la Y cuando estamos en presente simple. Y para las terceras personas, para decir, ella llora siempre, por ejemplo. Entonces, a ese verbo cry en tercera persona sería she, Y en el pasado también dice también. She cries. Ah, eso she, she always ¿Eso cries. Es este es presente simple. En presente simple ah. para la tercera persona, si tengo que quitarle la Y, agregar una I normal y ES. Ah, sería I, E, S. She bien. always cries al verbo cry. En pasado, igual sería así. She cried. Bueno, la forma ING, aunque era un día de este verbo, es cried, crying. Crying. Ok. Thank you for your question, Gilma. Is it clear now, Hilma? Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for your question. Interesting question. Any question in this part? Do you have any question about the nice topic? No. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la clase del día de hoy? No more question. No question. It's okay. Just take a look on the platform exercise. I could see that some of you had some problem uh, when solving this part of the platform. So, ahora ya no tienen dudas o todavía tienen dudas de cómo resolver este ejercicio. Teacher. Ay, ¿Por qué se le quita siempre cuando es Teacher. Yes, tell me. Una pregunta. Dígame, Olga. Mm, Olga. Yes, Cuando Olga. tú crees y se le pone el ING, se le quita el tú. Um, ok, that's an interesting question. Right. Cuando los verbos están en, en forma infinitiva, eso But significa que, work, que están sin... Se le quita sin... el tú. Ajá que están sin conjugar, entonces aparecen así, o sea, to be... Y esto to, es como en presente. To write, to dance. No, esto es infinitivo, no están conjugados, solo es el verbo, sin conjugar. El verbo, sí. sí. Forma infinitiva, entonces ya al conjugarlo le quitamos el tú. Para decir dance, por ejemplo, she is dancing. Ya no necesito el tú. She is y dancing. cuando lleva al final, cuando lleva al final Y, yeah, como creéis, se le cambia por, por la ING. Mm, oh, en este caso no. She is crying. Crying. Oh. Crying. Otro crying. ejemplo sería el verbo study. She is studying. Solo agregamos ING. She is studying. She's dancing, she's crying, she's standing. Gracias, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for your question. Okay, let's solve this part of the platform. So the instruction, it says, look at the picture and input the correct answer in blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. So, in Spanish, mire las fotos e ingrese las respuestas correctas en los espacios en blanco. Algunas oraciones deben ser negativas y otras afirmativas dependiendo de la foto. 
So, el ejemplo es My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. So, what's the answer here in the first one? My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm, I'm wearing... Ah, then I have to add the verb before. So, I'm wearing. Tenía que ingresar la forma del verbo to be más el verbo en ing. I am wearing high heels too. The next mm -hmm. one, it's raining, but... I am not wearing... Ok. Es de la imagen número uno todavía, ¿verdad? So, it's raining. Está lloviendo, but... I'm not wearing a raincoat. No estoy utilizando un abrigo. The next one. It's hot today. Tosi e Noriko are wearing short and t-shirt. It's very sunny, but they... Como sería, ellos no están usando. Are not, are, 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 not, are not wearing. Are not wearing, yes. But they are not wearing sunglasses. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is. Is wearing. Is wearing. wearing. El verbo to be más el verbo con ing. So he is wearing a brown shirt. But it's not wearing. But he is not wearing a tie today. Él no está usando una corbata hoy. Picture number four. It's cold today, but Katie isn't wearing a coat. He's wearing. She's, She's wearing. wearing. Switcher, gloves, and a hat. And she is isn't wearing boots. Está usando botas o no en la imagen? No, no está usando, no está usando. No. Entonces it sería is not, she is not yeah, wearing not wearing. wearing. And sneakers? Is she wearing sneakers? Yes. Yes. Wearing. She's yes, she's and wearing. She's wearing. Yes. She's wearing sneakers. She's wearing. Then let's go 10. Okay, 33 points of 33 points. That was great. Thank you so much. Any question? Do you have any question in this exercise? No question, teacher. No question? Teacher. Yeah. Hasta la sección 4 tenemos que llegar, ¿verdad? Yes, hasta la sección número 4. Ah, ok. Ok, have you already finished this section? What about this exercise? ¿Cómo está? ¿Está fácil o difícil? Yes. Ok. Let's see. Is Bruce, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Then we answer with the verb be too, yes or no. You say yes, he is or no, he is, and in this part. ¿Cuál es la número uno? Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? What is the answer? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, right. yes, he yes. is. Yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, no. he's not. Please. Then you say no. Sunglasses, no. He is not. He is. Let's see. Okay. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and yes. pants? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And the last one, number four. Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he isn't. Then you say no. He is not. 
Uh, is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Let's look, Anita. Is Anita wearing no, a she yellow is, skirt? It's blue. Okay, it's blue then. No, she's. No, no she's, she's not. not. Okay, let's see if we are right. And the answer is yes. And that is the last exercise of this section. Do you have any question? Any no doubt, question. Any doubt, any comment? Okay, if you don't have any other question, any other doubt or comment, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Enjoy your weekend. Today is Thursday, tomorrow it's Friday and we don't have classes. We are going to have classes until Monday. So see you on Monday, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank good night. you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night, too. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night.